This is the HyperX Solocast. It is the number one best-selling USB microphone on Amazon and has been for years. This is the Blue Snowball ICE and despite it being nine years old, is still somehow in the top five best-selling. And no, this little thing right here is not a butt plug. It is the Razer Siren Mini, which you guessed it, has consistently been in the top 10 to 15 best-selling. So I have to ask, why the f are people buying these microphones so much? Do they make you sound like Barry White? Do women and men swoon at the sound of your voice with them? Or do these companies just have the amazing marketing campaign of, well, other people use them? Today we're talking build quality and <laughs> testing how they handle distance, noise from keyboards and fans, plosives, harsh S's. And most importantly, we're going to compare them all against my personal favorite, the Samson Q2U. <laughs> All that and more in literally 30 seconds, but first, thank you to OWN for sponsoring this video so I could buy all of these microphones rather than get sent them and make this a useless, biased video where I can't insult them at all. OWN, your one-stop shop as a streamer, have created an entire scene editor and integrated it into their free version of OWN Pro. This means not only can you now get full overlays from webcam borders, alerts, labels, and so much more set up in literally three clicks, but if you want to, you can use literally any of their packs that they have on their website. All you have to do is upgrade from the free version to the paid, and you'll get access to their entire library. And for a little extra a month, also get access to the entire Epidemic Sound library, which is over 40,000 songs and 90,000 sound effects. If you want to support me, click the link in the description and check out Own Pro's new free scene editor and more. So let's talk key facts quickly. And in the bottom left, you're going to be able to see when I use what mic with a little label there, because I've recorded this video four times with all four microphones. You're welcome. Now, the HyperX, the Snowball, and the Razer Siren are all cardioid condenser microphones. In short, condenser microphones means there's a little diaphragm inside both of these that when plugged in is always being powered. It's always picking up sound, making them much more sensitive to everything. Yes, your voice, but also that means every noise in your room. But that does mean you'll actually get a really nice crisp sound without needing extra effects or EQ. It's great for plug and play. A big reason why beginners tend to go for condenser mics is they prefer the sound right out of the box, which is unlike the dynamic microphone that I'm currently using right now, which is going to sound really flat and a little bit monotone as it's a dynamic microphone, which I have not added any EQ to, to give you an idea of how it sounds. These microphones require you to be much more on top of them. They're really bad at a distance, but it means they're really good at cancelling out background noise in a room. Interestingly enough, dynamic microphones are much better for untreated rooms, aka streamers and content creators really should be going for dynamic mics, but instead they just go for these and throw some noise suppression on them. Now the cardioid part of the name that they both share refers to the polar pattern or the direction the microphone picks sound up best from. Cardioid being much more focused in one direction than say omnidirectional, which picks up sound from a full 360 degrees like this lav mic. Now the HyperX and the Snowball are both basic cardioid, but the Razer Siren Mini, which I'm currently using, is technically a super cardioid pattern, meaning it is meant to be even more directional, cutting off the sides and actually picking up a little bit more from just behind it. It's a little bit odd, but it's more precise, but has that little tail on the end. Let's listen to all three microphones and the Samsung Q2U completely blind, and you can decide unbiased which sounds best. This is microphone A. How does it sound? Do you like the sound of it? Let's do some quick plosives and harsh S testing. Ready? Peter Pepper popped a pepper in his bum. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I'm going to be giving you this as clip B. Tell me, do you like the sound of the microphone? What about if I do this? Peter Pepper popped a pepper inside his bum. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. This is audio clip C. How do you find this audio? Do you like the sound of it? Do you think it sounds good or bad? Let's do a little test. Peter Pepper popped a pepper in his bum. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. Boat, boat. Boat, boat, pop, pop, pop. This is microphone clip D. How does it sound? Do you like how it sounds? Let me know in the comments. Let's do a quick test. Peter Pepper popped a pepper in his bum. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I know that's short, but go with your gut. I want you to comment which one you like the sound of best. And now let's get into the testing. This is me talking normally directly up on the mic. This is me a meter away from the microphone. This is me a meter away, but I've increased the gain to get to the right volume. This is me speaking into the mic as normal, aiming to get around minus 10. This is me about a meter away from the microphone. This is me a meter away, but I've boosted the gain in post so you can hear what it sounds like. This is me talking normally on top of the microphone. This is me about a meter away from the microphone. This is me a meter away, but I've boosted the gain so you can hear me at a proper volume. 
Hi there, this is the Samson Q2U. I just wanted to show you what it sounds like in each of the results as well. It's me talking into it from a meter away. It's me talking into it from a meter away. While I don't hate the solo cast's natural sound, it's not my favorite due to the high tones feeling a little bit more intense than the other microphones, which is why I think I noticed the solo cast managing to really grab all the room noise once I stepped away from the mic and had to adjust the gain to match. Weirdly, I think the snowball performs a bit better than the solo cast, but I'm personally not a fan of the mic sound, so I'm going to let you judge how you think it performed. I feel like the Razer Siren handled distance really well. A shocking amount of clarity at a distance. Honestly, it is totally usable if push comes to shove. Of course, you'd be deranged to use a mic like this, but it is pretty good without much room noise. Look, to nobody's surprise, the Samson struggles at a distance and it completely falls apart. But remember, this is normal for dynamic microphones. No mic is meant to perform at these distances, and even more so is that true for dynamic mics. This test is to show you room tone and sensitivity, which are not the strengths of the Samson. The strength of the Samson is getting in nice and close, giving you that bass to EQ, while also being great at handling the background noise. So let's do that test. This is me typing on the keyboard while I also talk. Imagine I'm playing a game. Oh God, I've got to shoot that guy. Oh. This is me about 30 centimeters away from my keyboard. I wouldn't be able to actually play like this, to be honest. It's too far away from me, but still get you the sound. This is the fan about a meter away from me and actually not aimed directly at the mic. It's aimed a little bit further off to the side. Can you hear it in the background? What do you think? This is it with it actually hitting me now. So I'm actually getting something out of the fan rather than it just going off to the corner. And it's pretty clear that it's absolutely mangling the audio. This is me gaming away on a keyboard. I'm playing Apex Legends. Oh, shoot that guy, jump to that guy. Oh, I'm an inferior game compared to Titanfall 2. This is me pretty far away from my desk. I couldn't actually game like this, but it's about 30, 45 centimeters for the microphone. So it's pointing away from the microphone. How does it sound? Can you hear it in the background? And actually pointing at me, AKA actually working to cool me down. And it sounds like it's absolutely destroying the microphone again. Again, this is me typing away on my keyboard playing Apex Legends again, the inferior game to Titanfall 2. Go to arm's distance, so about 30 45 centimeters from the keyboard. So already I can see it is being picked up, but it's much better at not picking it up when it's aimed in another direction than the other mics so far. This is the fan it actually aimed at me, so it's actually doing something to cool me down, not just pointing at the corner. This is me typing out stuff into Discord. This is me at arm's reach, which I couldn't play, but I thought I'd just show you. This is with a fan on, not pointed at the actual thing. And pointing actually at me, meaning it's actually gonna do something. I'm not surprised the solo cast picked up so much of the keyboard. It was incredibly sensitive during setup. I'll cover that specifically later, but even at 30 to 50 centimeters away from the keyboard, it was grabbing every keystroke on my like basic Corsair K70 100%. The fan being on in the room wasn't too bad. You could absolutely remove this with some light noise suppression without hurting your voice. But if the fan does hit the mic, as you'd expect with any mic, it's going to sound awful. I was a little bit hopeful based on the way the mesh is on this one that it would be actually okay, but no, you'd absolutely need something to block the airflow. I think the snowball performs as expected. There's nothing really unique about it. I don't really like the sound it actually produces. So it's kind of hard for me to even care how the background sounds when I just hate listening to it in general. Now the siren really interestingly struggled quite a lot with the keyboard at first, but when I got 30, 40, 50 centimeters away from it, I noticed it did a lot better at rejecting it. Now I'm going to assume the reason it was like this was because of the super cardi weak pattern. When we were closer to it, we were actually grabbing it on that little tail end of the pattern. And as we moved away, we were cutting off the edges and it was more on the side and able to reject it. I think personally, the Samson handled the keyboard the best. You can still hear it, but if you listen to the solo cast's very first clip and the Samson's first clip, it's much less intrusive on the Samson. While I'm speaking, the tones don't overlap as much, meaning a light expander filter would probably remove it almost entirely. Same with the fan, a light noise suppression would almost remove it entirely. So obviously you wouldn't use these mics the way I am with the fans, the keyboards, and the distance. The idea is to show you them pushed to a really bad place and see how they perform. So let's cover my overall thoughts, reveal the blind test. Now the HyperX solo cast was blind test B with the Razer Siren being blind test A. The Snowball was blind test C and probably nobody's surprised, the blind test D was the Samson Q2U. Now, the HyperX solo cast struggled with plosives and popping quite a lot. At least I felt it did. It felt like the high tones were much more noticeable, increasing the clarity of the microphone overall, which a lot of people, when I showed these blind tests on Twitter and Discord, really loved. And that's awesome for you. But personally, it made my already gravelly or nasally voice 
sound quite rough. It was incredibly sensitive when setting up, so it was very annoying to level. It is picking up every single desk bump I do, every jacket move that I do, every single tiny little sound that happens around me, this mic is picking up. And it makes me feel like I have to be incredibly careful as a creator to get clean audio, which takes away from my performance. The moment I move off this mic as well, I noticed how quickly I had drop off. It felt like there were these small sweet spots where things were perfect, but if I got too close, I got awful popping, and if I got too far away, presence was just gone. The Snowball, I feel like, has very little presence, almost zero presence, to be honest, and it's the absolute worst quality. I don't really care if it picks things up, I don't care if it feels every bump that I have. All I care about is the fact that I hate how this thing sounds and have a blind rage listening to it. And if you disagree, that's totally fine. Audio quality and audio performance is a lot of personal opinion. However, everyone I showed those tests to from the start agreed this thing sounds awful. It sounds like a phone speaker. The Razer Siren Mini, I feel, has the best sound of the three in my opinion. It felt the most balanced without intense lows or highs, which, yes, I will admit, does make it sound a little bit muddy, but also it makes it feel full. It was sensitive and picked up a lot of the bumps and the rustling and stuff like that when I'm moving around, but that sensitivity was, again, balanced, meaning I wasn't struggling to level the microphone and I didn't have issues with moving around as much, especially compared to the Snowball or the Solo Cast. If I kind of moved this way or that way, I could definitely hear it, but I wasn't as stressed while I was creating. Honestly, I was shocked how much clarity it had at a distance. Again, you wouldn't use it that way, but it really held up. If I was doing a stream in a kitchen or recording in somewhere that I had to be moving around a lot and I didn't have a lab or I wanted another microphone to pick up the overall sound of the area, I would honestly be totally okay with putting this somewhere and just letting it capture as a backup or even just throwing some light noise suppression on and boosting the gain. It was totally usable at a push. Now, the Samsung QTU, I feel like has the best sound as a starting point. Obviously, it is a more expensive option at 100 AUD, but you can hear it's dynamic with no EQ. My voice feels less colored with it, which is something I kind of want because I'm going to be EQing it as someone who knows how to. Whether or not you want to EQ things, that really changes which one you prefer. Obviously, it struggled at a distance, but I think it handled the background noise really well. So if I had to rank the three I'm actually testing, I would say I like the Siren, then the Solo Cast, and finally, the Snowball can die in a fucking fire. If you want to learn more and see the Samson in action, click right here or support the channel for just one dollar a month by clicking right here.